Saw, dude. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry, my eyes have been so itchy because it's so dry outside. It just rained the other day and it's still dry and I just, ugh. I have been struggling. Like, the sneezes are real. Anyways, that's not really important. Um, let's see. I just turned up my mic, so I'm really hoping that I don't have to edit that now when I edit my video because I had to like turn up my sound because you could hardly hear it. Anyways, yeah, I don't think you guys care about that. That really is not relevant to anything. So I started watching the Liza Schlinger, I think is her last name, <laughs> Netflix special. She's a female comedian. I love her. I think she's so funny and just, I don't know. I really like her. So if you guys haven't watched it, go check it out because it's so so good. But I think we will jump into today's case. It's a relatively new one that's still developing, so we don't really have a resolution yet, but I think that that's going to come super soon. So we are talking about Asia Womack, who was born February 15th, 2001, so that would make her 21 years old, uh, to Andrea and Anthony Womack in, so in, oh my gosh, in Fort Worth, Texas. Sorry, I skipped a line there. She went to James Madison High School in Dallas, Texas, where she graduated in 2019, and then she moved on to Texas A&M Commerce in Commerce, Texas, and was studying kinesiology. I had to look it up because I had no idea what that was, but it is the study of the body's movement, which makes sense because kin is kind of like, is not like kinetic energy, and kinetic energy is movement, I think. I don't know. I barely graduated. Asia had a passion for basketball from an early age and she played on her high school basketball team and in everything that I read her family always talked about how much she loved basketball and it was such a passion of hers. Uh, she's described as having a big heart with so much love, joy, and laughter. She was a member of Gospel Tabernacle Church, where she was an active participant in the Generation Next ministry and the Youth Providence ministry. So she was very active in her church and she was dearly loved by her family and friends who said that she had a smile that could brighten your day. Of course, everything written about her was just so nice and she really sounded like a fantastic person. In her obituary, which I have linked in the description box down below if you guys want to go and send flowers or plant a tree in her honor, all that is down below, but her obituary is written in quarters, like the first quarter of her life, the second quarter, just like a basketball game, so that really does show you how much she loved the game, and that's kind of what makes the story very heartbreaking. On October 3rd, she was playing a pickup basketball game with Cameron Hogg, who's 31, at TG Terry Park in South Dallas. The park was just up the street from Asia's home, so she was there frequently since it was like right next to her house, you know. At about 7.40 p.m., the Dallas Police Department responded to a shooting on the 4100th block of Hamilton Avenue where they found 21-year-old Asia Womack laying on the sidewalk. She had been allegedly shot four times. I've also read that she was shot five times, but in the end, she was shot multiple times. So apparently, during the basketball game, things got heated, so Asia and Cameron exchanged some heated words, and Cameron was upset that Asia had beaten him in the game. Sounds like an egotistical thing, but... He dropped his kids and brother off at his home and then went back and found Asia at the park and shot her. Now, sources also say that she was sitting with a friend outside of her home watching a football game. Like, the TV was hooked up outside, so I'm sure they were sitting on, like, the porch or something, you know, enjoying the nice weather outside and watching a football game. And that is when Cameron drove up in his pickup, got out, and Asia got up to confront him again, and he just shot her. Like, he didn't say anything, but he was visibly angry, and he shot her. Asia was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced d dead shortly after. So, I guess Asia and this Cameron were friends. Like, they would go out to eat together, they would hang out, her family knew exactly who he was, they talked about them, the two being friends. So, that is so incredibly sad that her friend shot her, presumably over a basketball game that she won, but it's like, that's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Like she played in high school, she loved the game so much, so obviously she was good at it if she was playing that often and practicing. I mean, 
I don't know. So police issued a warrant for Cameron's arrest on October 11th, and he was found and arrested on October 20th and charged charged with her murder. And I guess her... So if it's true that Asia and her friend were sitting outside of Asia's house, the friend is the one that picked Cameron out of a photo lineup saying that he was the one that did it because she witnessed it. Um, Cameron has a bond set at $1,751,000, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think he should stay in jail. I didn't read anything about a court date being set, but since he was just arrested, let's see, I don't even know what today is. Oh, so he was arrested six days ago. I thought this case was incredibly sad and there's not a ton of reporting on it as of yet so i just wanted to tell you guys what i found about it this is pretty much it like i said it was kind of differing about like what happened when asia was shot i really think that her and her friend were sitting outside where she was then shot and then that's why her friend was able to pick him out of a photo lineup i think that that's probably pretty accurate as to what actually happened i had also read that Cameron didn't have a bond, but then an article from a few days after that, I think it was four days after, said that his bond was set at the $1.7 million. So that is where we are at with this case. As of now, it's very sad, and I think it's just tragic that Asia died doing something that she loved so much and was so loved by her community and her friends and family. And her pastor talked a lot about Asia as well and just calling this so senseless. It It's really sad, and I hope that her family is doing as okay as they possibly can be. But again, I do have her obituary linked down below, so if you guys would like to go and read it, it's really cool how they have it set up in quarters of her life. I thought that was awesome and such a testament to how much she loved basketball and they're trying to remember it as, you know, a good thing and a positive thing about her, despite that being what she ultimately died over. But that is it for me today. That is our case today. Please be respectful in the comments if you guys want to talk about this case a little bit more. If you, in the next few days, hear more about this case and comment down below, that would be awesome. I'm definitely into learning more about this and seeing what happens. But keep in mind, just be very respectful in the comments. And I hope that you guys have a great day and stay safe out there and come back for my Friday video, which will be another true crime courier case, but that is it. Thank you guys for watching, and like I said, stay safe out there. Bye, guys.